everyone, it's Mike, and today, I spent the day in Chicago. I was going to record this while I was out and about in Chicago, but unfortunately, A, traffic, people, crowd noise, honking horns, traffic noises, and then I went to the store and blaring music. And of course, you can't really talk over it because it's just blaring. And so I was trying to, but it just wasn't working out. So... Here's what I did. I was, I'm a big fan of 80s music. And to kind of my go-to genre when listening to music, especially on Pandora. And so, I was like, going through my records, I'm like, I don't have very many 80s music. Which is kind of surprising. And so I decided to go and pick some up. Now, I made my budget of $40. And... As we go, I'll show you how well I did, and if I went over budget. So what I did is, I basically went with soundtracks, mostly, because you basically get a lot more music for a less price. And also, the place I go to is Reckless Records. And so what I do is I look at their grading system, and they do a pretty good job with their grading system, so I have pretty much, I'm pretty much okay with it. And I go with Very Good or Near Mint, is what I go with. And they basically look at the the vinyl and the 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 our, um the cover, let's say. So the first one I got here is actually Diner. Now you may think to yourself, okay, it's not really '80s music, but it was an '80s movie, and I thought this would be kind of cool um, album to have, especially since it's four sides, two LPs, and it's only three ninety nine, so that wasn't a bad deal. And you get a lot of good music on there. I mean, that's basically what you get in there. A lot of 50s and 60s music, which is pretty cool. Hence the movie Diner. Um, I've not actually seen the movie Diner. Um, so I might have to check it out. Alright, so the next one I got here is actually the Bengals. I had to go with, you know, the Bengals here. And this one was $10.99. I think this is the most expensive one I got. And this one was actually near mint. They put a little true effects on these. And, of course, you know, they put Maniac Monday, secretly written by Prince. So, <laughs> there it is, the Bengals. And this is the Bengals' different lights, or different light. And that's the back side of it. And I'm, I do like the fact that they put these in sleeves. Um, I did order some myself, so that way I can put some of my older ones in sleeves. And kind of protect the artwork. So like I said, we're going with 80s music here. As you saw, the second one was the Bengals. The third one I picked up was also $10.99. Now they had two different options of sports here by Hulu and the News. Now if you watch the movie Back to the Future, which I'm a big fan of, Marty McFly actually has a poster for sports on his wall. So there's a little tidbit there for you. And uh, this one actually has a lot of good music on This one, like I said, this one is near mint. And the only thing I don't like is this sticker. I mean, I'm glad that the person who owned it originally left it on there. It may be a pain to get off, but the near mint one didn't have it on there. So I'm going to see if I can get that off of there. But this is Hugh Lewis in the News with Sports. And this one covers basically a lot of good music, like The Heart of Rock and Roll, I Want You Drug. So, I mean, it's a lot of good music on this one, and, uh, and Heart and Soul. I'll have to uh, give it a listen. I was I'm going to. I mean, I bought it. Now, like I said, this is 80s music. And how can you not have 80s music without the Miami Vice soundtrack? <laughs> there you go. This one was $4.99. And, uh, of course, it has the Miami Vice soundtrack on, the uh, Miami Vice song on there. But also has Phil Collins in the air tonight. Now, I was looking for the in the air album, and I could not find it there. So, this is the closest I got. And, uh, this is very good as well. It's four ninety nine on that one. So, we're getting near, or at least $20 so far. And maybe I actually want more than that, but we're getting pretty close. And these are removable stickers, by the way, that they put the price tags on. So, they do come off. Like I said, thankfully I do have bags on the way, so I can put these covers into, uh, protective, protective sleeves. This is actually Bobby McFerrin's debut album called Simple Pleasures. Now, Simple Pleasures came out, I think, 88, I think it was. 
and I actually was initially trying to get the soundtrack to Cocktail, and unfortunately, they had it on their website, but unfortunately, somebody had the same idea today, and <laughs> by before I did, just this morning, but this this album actually has some good music on there, and there are pretty, pretty much covers on there, except for Don't Worry, Be Happy. Now that there is a typical 80s music, 80s song. I mean, it's very catchy. I remember singing as a kid and driving my parents crazy. But it also has the Beatles song, Drive My Car, and their custom song, Sunshine of Your Love. So I'll be kind of interested to see how he covers these. I mean, I know uh, Don't Worry Be Happy, which I have not heard in a long time, actually. And so that is Don't Worry Be Happy. Oh, I'm sorry. Simple Pleasures with Don't Worry Be Happy on there. I still have to look off a cocktail, though, because it's got Kokomo, uh, Don't Worry Be Happy, put some other great 80s music on there as well. Alright, so now we're getting to the, the bit of unusual, the weird 80s music. There's a time when actors wanted to become musicians. I mean, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi kind of pulled it off with the Blues Brothers, and everyone's like, Hey, if they can do it, we can do it too. And the trend kind of continues today, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> this one here, I picked it up basically for the one song. And I paid about I paid three ninety nine for this one. And they said the album is very good condition wise. And the basically. It's, I just got to set the chase here. It's Eddie Murphy. How could it be? And now, Rick James actually produced the one song on here, which is called Party All the Time. Now, if you've not heard Eddie Murphy's Party All the Time, take a look on YouTube and uh, look up Eddie Murphy Party All the Time. It's, <laughs> it's actually kind of um, entertaining. And in a lot of the 80s um, albums you see out there, like the One Hit Wonders albums and that kind of stuff, they usually do put Party All Time on there. And uh, so I had to get this. He goes, Party All Time's on here. I mean, I paid basically $4 for one song. But I'll, I'll take a, I basically paid $4 for one song. But I'll pay, I will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll take a listen to the rest and let you know what I think. Over on Instagram. Yeah, I'll, I'll post when I listen to these things. And to continue that trend of actors want to become musicians. Now, when I asked, I couldn't find this in the store. And the website said they had it. And so, <laughs> the guy at the counter is like, are you sure you want to buy that? And I'm like, I have to. It's 80s music. I'm going for 80s music. This is a actor who wanted to become a musician. I mean, after all, Dan Aykroyd and John Bush could do it. Why couldn't he do it? And he wanted to go more for the blues aspect of it. And that is Bruce Willis with Return of Bruno. That's right. Bruce Willis had an album in the 80s. And, uh... Now, there's a lot of basically cover songs on there. Like Under the Boardwalk and Secret Agent Man, James Bond back. Supposedly he did second album and follow up to this, the guy was telling me, uh, which is kind of weird. This one just says it's good on there. I mean, I basically bought it just because Bruce Willis, The Return of Bruno. I mean, their artwork is actually pretty decent shape. If the vinyl's not that great, I'll be, I might frame it. Who knows? I'll deal with it. But uh, it's, I had to have it. I mean, it, they just got in, too, not too long ago. It's just August of this year. And so, the guy said it wasn't even out yet. But, there it is. Bruce Willis with the return of Bruno, where he wanted to become a blues singer. I mean, look at that. Look at him go. That's my haul of my uh, LP that I picked up today. So, all together, with taxes and everything like that, yeah, it was roughly about forty-five dollars. Was to say, so I did about five dollars over my budget, which is not too bad actually. I can't wait to listen to some of these albums. I want to thank you for watching.
Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later on down the road.